Alright guys, so Jay Cutler here, uh, 2017, uh, we're at the new year. I know there's a lot of people out there making New Year's resolutions. First of all, I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone. I know everyone has their, their set goals and kind of what they want to achieve this year. And I think that's kind of what I'm going to discuss a little bit is, is goal setting. Because we all have to have, you know, an outlook on what we want to achieve and, and uh, what our expectations are. And sometimes we use certain points of the year as the starting points to those. And I'm not a huge New Year's resolution guy. Um, I knew, you know, from day one kind of what I wanted to do. I just didn't realize how far I would actually take it. Um, but I just want to say a few things because I just came from the LA Fit Expo this weekend. And I hear a lot of people tell me inspirational things. And I heard so many different stories. And, and at my age and in my point of my career, I really appreciate that point of my life where you know, I'm not fighting to win Mr. Olympia titles at this point. But remember, my ultimate goal, I can honestly tell everyone out there that's listening and watching all my media, my ultimate goal was to win the Mr. Olympia. But immediate goal from the very beginning wasn't necessarily that. Of course, it was a dream. Um, it was um, a, a, the pinnacle of what I envisioned bodybuilding to be. And listen, it's advanced from there. Nowadays, you know, sitting at these expos, it's not just guys that are questing to be professional bodybuilders or be top of their game. You know, it's these YouTubers, these Insta-famous people um, that are inspiring people. And I think that's the most important thing. And a common question people ask me is what I think of all this. What do I think about, you know, now the new generation following people um, – which I consider YouTube almost like television. People are attracted to the lifestyle. People are attracted to people doing different things um, in the gym and uh, collaborating with different people. And, and listen, I'm friendly with a lot of these people. But I want to talk a little bit about like what my goals were. My goal was to be a successful bodybuilder. I wanted to compete on the biggest stages. And I wanted to transform my physique into what I aspire to look like from the magazines of the Chris Dickerson's and the Bob Harris's and the Lee Haney's and my nemesis Ronnie Coleman. Uh, you know, I had goals in the beginning and I took things a step at a time. And I think that's the most important thing. And I want to send this message through this video is I took steps in everything that I did. So like when I joined the gym, my 18th birthday, I had a goal in mind to get bigger. Okay. And then as I started training and started learning my physique, I started at 200 pounds and I wanted to be 220. And then it was about to being 240. And then it did like, okay, wait a minute, the weight doesn't matter. I want to have bigger arms or I want to have bigger legs or I want to, you know, bench press more, squat more. I remember there was a time when I would challenge myself in the gym. I wanted to squat 500 for 10 repetitions. So I had certain goals that I would um, acquire each, every few months. And Eventually, once I started competing, about six or eight months after I started working out, believe it or not, you know, I got addicted to being on stage and I wanted to have work on my presentations. I wanted to move on to the bigger stage. I became a teenage national champion at 19. And from then on, I'm like, wow, I want to be a pro bodybuilder. And I took the steps to do that. I competed on the national level and then I went to the nationals. I earned my pro card. Then I was a pro and then it was like, well, OK, I want to make money. And be able to finance my eating, my training, my supplementation, all the things it took to become a bodybuilder. I wanted to travel. I wanted to be famous in the magazines. I wanted to guest pose. I wanted to um, be able to correspond with my fans. Handwritten letters before the internet, guys. Some of you guys out there may re recall this because you may have handwritten me letters and I responded back. Um, but... In this day and age, things have shifted. We have the social media. We can correspond with our fans all around the world immediately, seconds later. People write to us, boom, we can respond back. I didn't have that in the beginning. So the goals obviously have changed. And now, you know, working towards what I have, being Mr. Olympia four times over, um, runner-up, you know, six times, and winning Arnold Classics and Ironmans and you know, San Francisco pros and English Grand Prix, all that stuff. It's, it's like our goals tend to shift from time to time. But more importantly, I think um, I see too many people now. Yes, they're using people like myself as inspiration or, or Kai Greens or, 
um, Phil Heath, and I'll talk about like the Bradley Martins and Christian Guzman's and you know Callie Muscle, all these people that they see that are in the media. Um, they use them as inspirational people, but truth be told, guys, you know you have to find your own path. Okay, copying someone else and doing things that other people do isn't necessarily building your own um, your own destiny. Okay, whatever your goals may be. Listen, everyone wants to be famous. I, I'm not going to lie to you. When I first started training, I used to pick up the magazine, and my initial thought was when I saw pictures of guys in the magazine, I thought, man, I want to look like him. I remember reading Bob Paris's Beyond Built book. I bought it GNC for $25 or whatever, and it showed the exercise. And I saw this like really good-looking guy, toned body, you know, tan. He lived in California. He, he trained out there. That was my dream. I wanted to be in California. I wanted to train at Venice Beach. I wanted to look like that. I wanted to have the appeal for the women. I wanted to have, you know, the muscles and be able to say, man, this is, people recognize me and say, man, you have a great body. Um, you know, along the way, I had to find my own way. Yes, I used it as a guideline, but my goal was really, um, you know, once I became a professional and once I started winning my first pro show, and then once I landed second place at the Mr. Olympia, my goal from then forward was to win the Mr. Olympia. Now, would it be once, twice, four, you know, originally, I mean, I can honestly tell you I wanted to win five. I won four. I got injured, knocked me out of the fifth one. Uh, Phil, he took over. He continues that right now. But I became aware of what was in front of me, and I had new goals. I had new visions of what I wanted to do. Eventually, I realized that I couldn't compete on the stages. So my goals now, you know, are, you know, building the brands, committing time to the military, um, trying to give back, promoting my own competitions to give people the opportunity to fall in the footsteps of someone like myself um, or whoever their idols may be, giving them the opportunity to keep compete on those kind of stages. So um, I'm doing all those things to expand that. And, you know, I appreciate the fans out there, and I appreciate all you that are working towards those goals. And I can honestly tell you, do not stop. Stay relentless towards those. Have a vision, but take everything in steps, and that's the most important thing. Sometimes I, you know, I get these these younger kids, and they're like, you know, I ask them. I stopped a lot of people at the LA Fit Expo when they when they came up and said, Jay, I've been following you for a long time. I said, what's your goal? I asked them first what their age is. And what, what's your goal? And their goal is always, well, I want to get in better shape. Or I want to compete. Or I want to be the next Jay Cutler, which is awesome. Okay, I'm so fortunate to be able to be one of those guys to give them influence. But, you know, you have to take things in step. So if you haven't competed before, you have to get on the stages and listen, there's so many divisions now, men's physique, classic, um, you know, masters, teen, all the different divisions and the women goes to the same thing. But you have to find your own path. And nowadays I tell everyone, you know, you have a voice, you can put your stuff out there. I'm trying to give as much people media as possible. So I encourage everyone out there that is going to attend an event, you know, come see me, come speak to me and tell me your, your because th I love hearing the stories. And I love hearing, and I'm willing to help anywhere else that's trying to get to a specific goal. You know, I've, you know, you've heard the stories about the Phil Heath and trying to get him sponsored and everything else. And, you know, I work with a lot of different brands that are always looking for figureheads. Um, but I can just assure you guys, stay t true to your goals in 2017. Um, keep following what you believe in. And remember, I mentioned it in another video. It has to be your passion. You guys have to have the passion in order to have great success in something. You know, if I didn't have the passion to, um, you know, go to the gym and work out on a daily basis or the passion to stay in a strict diet so my physique, I could see my abs all year round. I mean, if you ask me, Jay, what's your goal physique wise now? I would say to keep abs all the time. That's really a goal of mine. I don't want to carry any body fat that's going to eliminate my abs. I want to be able to take my shirt off at 43 and <clears throat> people will be like, wow, he's still in decent shape. Um, yes, I'm not going to have 23-inch arms like I had, um, and I'm not going to be known for the biggest quads, and I promise you they're still ripped. But, uh, you know, it's it's now switched. It's now shooting towards other things, and, you know, you guys are the new generation. Um, doesn't matter what age it is. Um, once again, I appreciate all the stories, and I appreciate all the support. 
um, and make sure you guys comment, okay? Because I want to, I do want to read the comments, and I want to know um, mindsets of others. Maybe you know we can talk about it in other videos or whatnot. But once again, I appreciate all the support out there. Stay true to yourself. Chase the dreams in 2017. You guys that are using the new year to, to pursue new goals or current goals that you may have fallen off or you guys are just snowballing into the next best thing. Good luck. Keep pushing and believe in yourself.